Well, imagine hula hooping for 100 hours. Yeah, it was a little over a year ago that this Wicker Park resident shattered the world record and did it while raising money for a great cause. Jenny Doan joins us. Hi, Jenny. Hey, how's it going? Hey, Jenny. So good to have you. When did you first pick up a hula hoop? It definitely was when I was in primary school and it was like riding a bicycle. I just never forgot. <laughs> never forgot. Uh, you end up shattering the world record. I think I read the, the previous record was like 74 hours. You basically hula hooped for an entire day longer. Why? Longer? Yeah. <laughs> so I want it to be as hard as possible so that the next person has a really big challenge ahead. I mean, but what goes into training? Like what, what goes into getting ready to break a world record and to hula hoop for a hundred hours. That's unbelievable. <laughs> yeah, I, I practiced for about four months. And so each week just gradually increased how long I was hula hooping for. And so in the last month, I got a bunch of time off work. And on the weekends, I was hooling 20, 30, 40, even 50 hours straight. Jeez. Wow. Okay, wait, <laughs> what kind of, I mean, like, how many calories are you burning in these sessions? That's what I'm curious uh, about. It's two to 300 calories an hour. And if you put on a movie, you don't really notice the time go by. <laughs> <laughs> well, looks like you're oh in great shape. God. There you go. Mal is going to get her. Well, you have the hula hoop at the house. You're going to start doing that. <laughs> oh, you better believe. I, I can't. I can't compete, Jenny. I don't know. I give up already for a start. <laughs> Jenny, when you are setting this record, how many breaks do you get? Obviously, you need a restroom break. You need to eat. Uh, does that, is that yeah. allowed? Yeah, so all up, I had about seven hours of breaks. And so some of those were 40-minute power naps. There were toilet breaks or just the opportunity to get off my feet. <laughs> Man, and even when you like, let's say you've been hula hooping all this time, right? You take one of those breaks. <laughs> do your legs feel like jello or something? Like when you just <laughs> attempt to just walk to the restroom? <laughs> Yeah, I had to I have people clear the way for me. And I had these compression boots, which squeezed all of like the lactic acid out of my legs. So it was pretty scientific no from that side. <laughs> wow. Now, now, Jenny, what do you do for a living? How did you get five days <laughs> off to be able to set this record? Yeah, I work as an analyst um, at Uber Freight. And I have a reputation of being a little bit out there and a little bit crazy. So it wasn't really that out of the ordinary for me to start doing something so insane. <laughs> okay, Jenny, be honest. What was the hardest thing about doing the hula hooping for 100 hours? It was definitely the sleep deprivation. After a few yeah. hours, you get a little bit sleepy, a little bit tired, but then you just have to keep going. And so I had a really good support crew, uh, a lot of TV. I had my Twitch stream going with people all around the world checking in and saying hello. So that really kept me awake. Right, yeah. And I know that you're raising money for a great cause too. Tell us about that. Yeah, so I raised money for Mental Health America. We were just shy of $5,000. And it was just a really important cause to me because I think, especially in today's climate, mental health is really important. So any support that we can get out to new people or reduce some of that stigma, I think is a positive thing. Yeah, that is really wonderful, Jenny. Kudos to you. Now I'm looking at your background. I see two hula hoops <laughs> on the wall. I see a bunch over there to the right. How many hula hoops do you go through in a marathon session when you were like breaking the record with 100? <laughs> So Is luckily, it one hula hoop had, 100 hours? Oh, the purple one. So I had that one, and really? then the green one was in case um, it broke, I'd have 30 seconds to replace it and keep going. Um, and what about all those to the side <laughs> of you? Are those your training hula hoops? <laughs> yeah, so they're different shapes. They're different sizes. So some of them are easier. Um, and then I have some where, where I do, like, multiple hula hoops at the same time. And so that's just a whole other uh, skill set that I'm working on. And now, Jenny, are you happy with the 100 hours, or are you going to try to break your own record? <laughs> Well, on Instagram, I've heard of some rumblings of a German competitor who wants to go for it. So if that were the case and I had to defend my title, I would definitely take it out and go for round two. Is he crazy? Does he really <laughs> think he can take you on? Doesn't he know you're from Chicago? He can't bring the noise like that. <laughs> definitely not going to make it easy for them. <laughs> All right, Jenny. So are you going to teach us? Uh, can you teach Val and me how to do this? Of course, anybody can learn, so let's have a crack. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna get okay. out of my living room and into my other living room. <laughs> right. All right. <laughs> okay. Here we go. All righty, All right. so there's two tricks uh, that I learned that I haven't read anywhere else um, in Hula Hooping Guides. Um, so first, picture um, what it looks like when you're twirling keys on your finger. Think of that motion, and then that's what you want to do with your hips. So it's not a circle, it's more like an oval, and it's more side to side. Um, and then the second thing, if you're um, left-handed, you want to go clockwise, and if you're right-handed, you want to go anti-clockwise. Okay. 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 
Okay. Oh, okay. So I'm. <laughs> All right. So if you grab your hoop. Okay. Is it time? Yep. And so you want to okay. do like a throwing motion like this. So you stop and then spin and then let go. Wait, you said if we're right-handed, we go counterclockwise? Yep. So it'd be the opposite okay. of me, I'm a left-hander. Oh, here we go. Okay. Oh, you got it. Okay, here we go. <laughs> All right. Ah, oh, you got it. <laughs> so get some practice. You get like the timing of what feels natural to you. And then as you feel more comfortable, you can make it go faster. So if you make it go faster, it'll slide up your body. So if you try and do sort of bigger movements like this, I'm already it'll go done. higher up. <laughs> it'll definitely get your heart rate going for sure. And so you can go really high, and then if you slow down, it'll just start to go down towards your hips. And so the trick nice. is to try and get like a good balance, so you don't tire yourself out. But if you want to burn those calories, then you know go for it. <laughs> You've got some very very good oh, yeah. in there. I'm very impressed. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! <laughs> Jenny, then... these hips will build <laughs> for this. Oh yeah! And now, if you want to make it harder, think about where your feet are. So shoulder width is a little bit easier. If you step them closer together, it's a little bit harder. Okay. You can step in, and then you can step so out. So far, I'm setting the <laughs> City Live record. You look good now. <laughs> You're doing very well. I'm very impressed. <laughs> <laughs> you got it. You got the rhythm. <laughs> and oh, then you yeah. can switch on some TV, watch anything you like, and uh, yeah, the time will fly by. <laughs> uh, Ryan, I think you should read the tag, because I'm not going to stop. Uh, I think you got it. Jenny, yeah, Jones, the tag, thank you Ryan. so much. We appreciate no it. That is a workout right there. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back with more Windy City Live. All right, see ya. <laughs>